Guess what, boss? We're viral on TikTok. Guess what, boss? The deal didn't close. Today we're diving into a topic that's a hot debate in many businesses. Marketing versus sales. And more importantly, what to fix first. But let's define what it is that we're talking about. Marketing and sales are often seen as two sides of the same coin, but they actually have very distinct roles. Marketing is about creating awareness and interest in your products, while sales, on the other hand, is about converting that interest into a purchase. Think of it like a funnel. Marketing attracts potential customers and leads them down the funnel while sales takes over to seal the deal at the bottom. Now here's where the fun begins. Often businesses struggle because they don't know whether to focus on fixing their marketing or their sales first. But let's break it down. Imagine this scenario. Jane runs a small firm. Her marketing team is doing everything, social media, SEO, content, but they're not seeing the leads convert into sales. Her sales team, on the other hand, is eager and ready, but they don't have enough quality leads to work. What should Jane fix first? I call this Jane's dilemma. I think Jane needs to look at her marketing efforts first, and here's why. If you have a strong marketing strategy that generates leads, your sales team will have more opportunity to close the deals. It's like building a house. You need a solid foundation before you can put up the walls. But let's flip the script. What if your marketing is bringing in a steady stream of leads, but your sales team isn't closing? This might mean that there's a disconnect or a skills gap in the sales process. In this case, fixing sales should be your priority. It's crucial to analyze where the bottleneck is, and sometimes the problem isn't clear cut. That's why it's essential to have clear communication between your marketing and your sales teams. Regular meetings, shared goals, and mutual feedback can bridge the gap between marketing and sales. Now remember, they're not opponents, they're partners. And here's another quick story. A friend of mine, Lisa, runs an e-commerce store. She was pouring money into the marketing but was not seeing ROI. After a deep dive, we discovered that her sales team was overwhelmed and untrained. By investing in sales training and streamlining the process, she not only improved conversions but also made her marketing efforts more effective. So what's the takeaway? Start by identifying where the breakdown is happening. If marketing isn't generating leads, fix that first. If sales isn't converting leads, focus there. And always ensure your teams are working together seamlessly. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips on marketing productivity. See you in the next video.